What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another shave and this is a rear shave. I'm shaving at one in the morning right before I get ready to go to work. Gonna be going with uh, Mammoth Soap today. This is Sonder. I uh, picked this one up at the 2019 uh, meetup in uh, New York. Brush of choice today is AP Shave Co. brush here, fan tip knot with the gel tips. Razor of choice today is the WH Morley. And we'll be finishing off the shave with the matching splash. <clears throat> and Zingari Man Post Shave Balm off camera. All right, let's whip it up real quick. Yeah, I'm shaving in the morning. Usually I shave at nighttime. I hardly ever shave first thing in the morning. All right. Soap whips up really, really quick. Scent strength is mid-range. And speaking of the scent, here are the scent notes, and there are the ingredients. This one is a nice, bright, citrusy soap. It's one of my favorites for, like, summertime. It has a green note in there, too. Almost to my nose, a grassy kind of note. It's very, very nice. If you like bright citrusy forward soaps with some musky notes kind of hanging out in the background, then this one would be a really nice soap for you to pick up in my opinion. Just a little more uh, water into this. That's good. That is good. Yeah, nice, bright, citrusy, musky notes in the background and a green note in there that I, to my nose, kind of feels a little grassy. But it's not like fresh cut grass, it's just you know, nice, nice and refreshing type of scent, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, been pretty busy at work. It's the end of the month and we are trying to make a few shipments. So I have to be in early to make sure that I get my end of the job done and take it and take the, uh, you know, the operation to the next operation. All right, here we go. Pass number one. Hope everybody is having a good week. Whenever you see this, we had a great week at work. It is midweek right now. Halfway through it. Get this spot here real quick. Yeah, Mammoth Soap is pretty good stuff. This is the only one I have so far. These soaps used to be pretty tough to get. He used to, meaning he, the owner, Ben. I think that's what his name is, Ben Esposito. I think, I might be wrong about that. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. But he used to, Release these soaps in small batches, from what I remember. This one was exclusively released at the time at the 2019 uh, meetup in New York. We met up in this like um, 
this building and it was like eight floors up and the elevator wasn't working. So you had to walk to the top floor and the, um, I'm putting the aftershave on. I'm not even done shaving. What am I doing, man? I'm getting all out of uh, sync here. Yeah, so the elevator in this uh, place where we had the meetup wasn't working. So you had to walk eight floors up, which was easy for me, but hard on some other people. And when you got to the upstairs, the air conditioning wasn't working up there. And it was in the summertime, so it was hot. I mean, it was like probably... I'm not exaggerating, it was probably like, I'd say like 80 to 90 degrees in this room and especially um, with all the people that were in there. There had to be like 50 people in this little tiny room in this upstairs um, place. And there was uh, quite a few artisans there. Uh, Chris from Katie's Bubbles was there, Ben was there from Mammoth. Um, who else was there and I, that I can remember? Oh, it was, uh, give me a second here. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think Talbot was there. Talbot Soap Company. West Coast Shaving was there. And they were, they had a bunch of Carve razors because Carve is still kind of new at the time. They were uh, selling. Ariana and Evans. That's where I got the Pedro Fiasco soap. Uh, Peter had a bunch of new ones at the time too that he released at that um, at that meetup. All right, now I'm done. Nice shave. Nice shave. Let's get the aftershave on. This one's a nice strong one that'll last for probably a couple of hours, I guess. I know I can smell it after a couple of hours. How long can you guys smell your aftershaves? Let me know in the comments below. I usually can get out of most of them like a couple of hours. Some of the aftershaves are stronger than my colognes. I usually put my cologne on, on my skin, and then usually midday I'll do a fresh application. Some of these aftershaves will last just as long or just a little bit longer. All right, recap. Mammoth Soap Sonder. Went with the WH Morley here. AP Shave Coat Brush was the brush of choice. Matching splash here. And last but not least, off camera, Zingari Man Unscented Post Shave Balm. That's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend or week whenever you see this. Take care. See you again soon for another one.